Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as most of you requested, I'm going to be doing my spring 2019 houseplant tour today. Um, we're going to be starting off in my dog's bedroom. Yes, they do have their own room because they are <laughs> spoiled. Um, so the lighting in here we have right here is a western window. That's a northern window. And just FYI, this plant shelf is usually right up close to the window. I just moved it for film, filming purposes so you can see the plants better. All right, so if you're interested in seeing my spring house plant tour, just keep on watching and I'm gonna get into the video. So to start on the top shelf, um, these are all types of Hoyas that are up here. So this is Hoya fungi and the leaves are really interesting. They kind of are a little bit fuzzy and I love the shape of them. and they do have some splash on the leaves. It's such a beautiful plant. And that's the newest leaf, it's pretty big. And then next to that, this is Hoya obovada variegata. Um, it has like the reverse variegation, so it's like on the center of the leaf. You can see right there, there's some variegation. Let me just show you on the other side, it's easier to see. So there's a better shot. You can kind of see the variegation on the leaves. It's very pretty. It's a beautiful plant. This is from Gardino Nurseries. This is Hoya carii. Um, it was supposed to be the reversed variegated one. So there's supposed to be variegation in the center, but um, unfortunately I think that this Hoya um, reverted back to green. That I, I bought it as the um, reverse variegated, but it's still beautiful the way it is. I'm still happy with it. This is my Hoya Super Eskimo. And I've noticed that like the originally the leaves were more silvery as you can see right there when I first ordered it, it had more of like a silver color but a lot of the new growth has grown in darker with less speckles and I'm wondering if that's because I live farther north it was originally from um, a nursery in um, Florida so it's receiving probably brighter light but it's still beautiful it's grow it has grown a lot and it's blooming like crazy as you can see right here, there's the peduncle and it has little, um, the start of blooms right on the end. So I'm definitely expecting to have flowers soon. The flowers are really beautiful. They're white and fuzzy. And then behind that, this is my Hoya Sweet Scent. And it's doing okay. It hasn't grown yet, but I'm hoping in the spring and summer it'll start growing. I might put it outside. This is um, Hoya Pink Silver, and it also has like a splash on the leaves. It's really beautiful. My Hoya Patella Pink is doing really well. And this also has really fuzzy leaves. I'm surprised that it's done so well. I thought it was gonna be finicky, but it's grown a lot. This is my variegated, or it's the Green Ice Aloe. And it's also doing well in this window. It's receiving Western light. I have another Hoya Carii from Seed to Stem. And it's growing up this um, structure on the, the furniture that I have. It's just kind of growing up and there's a little baby, a little baby heart right there. It's kind of hard to see, oh, whoops, I just poked it. It's kind of hard to see. There is my Macrophilia pot of gold. It's kind of hard to see it. But you can see that the variegation um, has white or um, yellowish white in the center and then the outside has green, and the bottom of it is more like solid colored. So here's an overview, that's that shelf I just showed you. And then I like how like the vines are kind of growing up the furniture, it's really pretty, up the shelf. And then this is that top shelf. So it's definitely grown a lot since my last um, house tour. But I'm really happy with how they're doing, they all seem to be thriving. All right, so we're gonna move on over here. So this is a northern window, and I did um, rotate the plants facing um, this way. The, the leaves are usually facing the window, so they're getting the maximum amount of light. And these plants are not receiving any direct sunlight. Oh, we have a visitor, Kona. Say hi. This is my dog, Kona. She wants to. She wants to help. She wants to help film, right? <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go through what these plants are. So this is my um, Monstera Deliciosa Vergata. The leaves are absolutely stunning. Um, this one is like half white and half green. 
This is one of the newer leaves. There's actually a leaf unfurling from him. So you can see right there that a new leaf is gonna be emerging from that stem. But it's an absolutely beautiful plant. And the leaves are pretty large compared to my hand. You can see how big it is. This is my pride and joy. This is my Monstera Thai constellation. It's absolutely beautiful. I just did a video. I'm updating you guys on this plant find. I'll link that in the top right corner if you want to hear more in-depth um, background on this plant in my other Monstera. But I just absolutely love this plant. It's beautiful. And it's pretty unusual that the variegation is pretty white on this guy. I always heard that it was more of like a yellow, a yellow colored uh, variegation. But anyway, that's the uh, Thai constellation. And this is my um, variegated Borgensina monstera. So it's just a smaller variety compared to the Monstera Deliciosa. And I might do a video if you guys are interested, let me know comparing the three and how they're different. So let me know if you um, would find that interesting. I also just wanna let you know I keep my um, humidifier running just to kind of increase the humidity in this area since it is still kind of dry outside. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're gonna move on to my living room. So these are the plants in my living room. And by the way, I just wanna apologize. My voice um, is a little off. I'm still um, getting over a cold, so I can't talk very loud. This is an Eastern window and they're just receiving morning sunlight. So this is one of my favorite Hoya. It's the Hoya Carnosa Crimson Queen. And it's just a beautiful plant. I love how it looks growing up this trellis. This is another aloe green ice. This is my Hoya Potsy Chiang Mai. This is the variegated Hoya Carii from Logies. It's pretty large, as you can see. And that's the newest leaf right there. This is my Hoya Macrophilia. And the variegation on this is absolutely beautiful. You can see it looks kind of pink on the edges. It's such a gorgeous plant. I'm sorry, it's really hard to see this, but um, it looks beautiful hanging in this window, I think. Um, this is my Hoya Mathide, looking beautiful. It has a bunch of panuncles on it, so I know it's probably gonna bloom this spring, hopefully. And I just love the way it looks in this macrame. It's very beautiful. And then this is the variegated Hindu rope that I got from the Home Depot. I've done many videos on it. And it just looks so beautiful. I just love how full it is and huge. So I'm really hoping this spring that it will bloom for me. It's such a stunning plant. I'll link the original video for this if you wanna see, um, or if you wanna hear the story behind this plant. All right, this is an overview of what my dining room looks like. Oh, there's Kona again. <laughs> um, so this is what we got going on. It's kind of chaotic, honestly. Um, I feel like there's too many plants in here, but I mean, that's what happens when you have a plant addiction, I guess. <laughs> um, so here is another variegated Hindu rope and it has grown a lot since I purchased it. You'll notice that the new growth is pink, which is absolutely stunning. And of course, this is my pottery from Unearth Wonder. And I'm obsessed with this plant. It's so beautiful. So below my variated Hindu rope, I have my Hoya red buttons. And I love the way it's just trailing off the edge of this table. It's a really pretty plant. I'm really hoping I'll get some blooms on it. The blooms are really cute and they're like red and purple. I recently moved my Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess into this window. Um, it was in a Western window before. This is Eastern light. So I think it looks really pretty trailing down the table with these other plants. So I really like the placement of having it here. And again, it has that beautiful variegation that's pink. And then it, the old, once the leaves get older, they kind of switch to the creamy color. I have my Hoya Carnosa Crimson Queen cuttings right here from last summer. They're doing really well indoors. I believe this is a Hoya Wayeti variegata. And again, the variegation grows in pink and then it switches to like that creamy color. This guy's a little harder to see, but it's called Hoya Bella. And the blooms are pink. They kind of look like the Hoya Carnosa blooms. 
but this is a really beautiful plant. Sorry if it's a little difficult to see. The sun is, they're getting their, um, their sunbathing right now, so the lighting's a little hard to, to see the plants. This is my Royal Hawaiian Purple Hoya, and the speckles are pretty cool. They look kind of purple. It's probably why it gets its name. So you can kind of see right there that it has like purple speckles on the leaves, and the purple kind of changes to like a silvery color. There you go, now you can kind of see the silvery speckle on the leaves. It's an absolutely gorgeous plant. So this plant shelf is just receiving a lot of bright indirect light. That's a southern window. Um, but here is my philodendron um, Brazil, and it has grown a lot since the last video. It is almost reaching the ground, reaching for wine. It just wants to have a drink, and I'll join it. <laughs> Uh, this is my two Pelia plants, and they're doing really well, or Pilea. I'm, I always pronounce it wrong, and you guys want to correct me, which is fine. But it seems really happy. They both look beautiful. There's my Amacuphorbia. It hasn't grown at all, so I think I might move it outside this summer. It's absolutely beautiful. Let me just give you a better shot of the color. It's a beautiful plant. And then next to that, um, this is my passion vine, and this is the Q Gardens passion vine from Logies. And the flowers are really cute; they're like a pink color, like a bubblegum pink. Uh, this is just the regular Hoya carnosa, and it grows really fast since it has no variegation, so it's definitely a fast grower. I have my orchid, which I did switch back to bark because it was just, I had to water it too often in hydroponics, so now I'm growing it in bark. This is my um, Thanksgiving cactus, and it has like a really beautiful peachy bloom. This is my string of bananas, and it's absolutely so long, but it was already that size when I purchased it, so I cheated. And then this is my Hoya um, Royal Hawaiian Purple plant. I actually split them apart, so that one, this was all one plant, but I split them into two since I didn't like that it was so full. I kind of um, prefer my plants to not be as full and more long. This is my satin silver pothos cutting that I got from my best friend, and it's not really doing much. It's not hasn't grown at all, so hopefully this spring it'll push out some growth. Here's my Hoya Obscura. I actually had it close to the window before, like in the eastern light, and I moved it farther away. And it seems really happy here. Oh, she's making another appearance. <laughs> you can see <laughs> Kona. It has a peduncle, unless Kona eats it. So that's the peduncle. And it has one here as well, right there. All right, so we're gonna move on to my kitchen. So these are all my begonias. They definitely look kind of sad. Um, I'm trying to propagate a lot of these guys, so this is just like the regular angel wing begonia, my special angel from Logies. But I definitely cut them back, and you can see like little new baby leaves will grow. So hopefully, um, if I, I might move them outside when it's a little warmer. This is my begonia whitey eye. I also chopped him back, and I'm water propagating the leaves. And then this is my, this is actually a begonia. A lot of people are surprised when I tell them that. The begonia conchifolia. And the leaves are fuzzy. The blooms are really cute. You can see right there, he has a little bloom. This plant is so easy. And I definitely am not good with begonias and like he is super easy to keep alive. So I definitely re uh, recommend this type um, if you have difficulty growing begonias. They don't seem, this one doesn't seem to be sensitive to humidity. He does really well. This is one of my variegated watermelon peperomias. And this uh, begonia is the cotton candy begonia. And he's also pretty easy to grow. He doesn't seem to get his like crusty and, oh yeah, I'm not supposed to touch the leaves. Someone recently told me you shouldn't touch your begonia leaves, but that's a huge one. This is my Calathea. Um, I forget the variety y'all. Maybe I'll write it across the screen because I can't remember, but there is the new growth right there. So I'm pretty happy about that. And he definitely is a little bit crispy on the ends, but I haven't really done anything to supplement humidity, so that could be why. There's my other um, Begonia Whitey Eye. 
my variegated jasmine plant. This is a western window, so they're getting afternoon sun. This is from this is a plant from Logies. And then I have another Hoya um, Crimson Princess. Look at the beautiful pink new leaves. It's absolutely gorgeous. I have some Pilea babies right here. They're really tiny. I just propagated them off the mother plant. And then back here I have some begonias propagating in water. So I'm trying to pop propagate the Contrafolia. You can see them right there. I just clipped off one of the stat um one of the leaves with the stem. So hopefully that works. I have a satin silver pothos that I'm propagating from my friend. My best friend gave that to me. And I'm also propagating my string of bananas, which propagates like crazy, which I'm really happy about. And it actually has a lot of new growth as well. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then this plant really like surprised me. So this is my um, watermelon peperomia. And I literally almost killed it a few times. It sits on top of my fridge and I honestly have neglected it a few times. But it's just thriving right now and like it gets no direct light. It's just getting bright light from like all the windows. And it's beautiful up there living its best life. So I don't know. I was always doing really bad with this type of plant. But this one likes me now. So yeah, it's just beautiful. Look how full it is. And then I have another um, Hoya Wayeti Variegata. I might be saying, if that's the incorrect name, I'm going to write it on the screen. And I have him on the fridge, um, just a little trail down the fridge. All right, guys, so that concludes my houseplant tour part one. I'm just going to split this up into two separate videos and show you my plants upstairs in the next video. I just don't want to make this too long. Um, but if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any questions or any comments. Um, and you can also follow me on my Instagram. It's Juju Succulents. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.